And now moving on to a company that is smashing conventions around produce perfection with their delicious pickled products. Um, please join me in welcoming Kayla from Ugly Pickle. Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm, we had some technical difficulties earlier, and I hope that this is able to work, but excellent. My name is Kayla Abe, um, and posing the question today, what could the U.S. do with an extra $218 billion? Bring a permanent end to food insecurity, invest in long-term climate solutions. This utopian lottery ticket might feel like a lofty dream, but tragically, this $218 billion is what we spend instead every year on food that we throw away. Ugly Pickle Co. is our solution for reincorporating this food loss back into the food chain. We're helping heal our food system by rescuing cosmetically regular produce and farm surplus to make super snappy pickles and tasty condiments. This company is our vision for a radical alternative to our conventional food system, one that both tackles the 20 billion pounds of farm food waste and drives bottom line dollars to all members of our supply chain while chipping away at ending climate change. Of the food waste pie, about 20% comes from the farm, where a host of naturally occurring outcomes like misshapen or discolored produce or oddly timed or under overabundant harvests lead to food production without eaters. So beyond the wild inefficiencies of this paradigm, food loss is also one of the largest contributors to climate change. It consumes 21% of our water and releases 70 billion tons of greenhouse gases at a time when the UN states that we only have seven years before we've done irreversible planetary damage. We've seen that consumers are actively looking for ways to make a difference to their diets. This year, we've seen 250% year-over-year growth, as well as 63% compounded monthly growth during COVID-19. We just launched with Imperfect Foods, where we've been selling 500 jars of pickles a week, unlocked a local distributor, and moved part of our operation to Copac. And between my work in sustainable agriculture and my partner David's as a Michelin starred chef was this shared love of the farmer's market, which is very appropriately the place where we first met. And shopping there on Saturday mornings together, we learned from farmers firsthand about the crippling effects of food waste and felt impassioned to mend these broken links in our food system. Both deeply rooted in the Bay Area food scene, we've each honed distinct sets of expertise to make this company a success. David's 20 years in the culinary world gives us the tremendous advantage of in-house R&D, consumer insights, and operational expertise. And my experience owning California Food Service at Oatly, helping drive the oat milk craze as their eighth employee, I have hands-on knowledge of what it takes to grow a brand from the grassroots up. Together, we excel in community building, in normal times, bringing people together over pop-ups, generating lines that wrap several blocks. And even more importantly, our dedication to this cause is not just professional, but deeply personal, ensuring that we see this vision through. I would at this point have a picture of Curtis, um, a second generation farmer in Lodi, as well as a dear friend of ours. And right now in California, farmers like Curtis have it really rough. We are reminded of just how precarious our food system is as farmers like him start to seek out secondary jobs due to slow pandemic sales or are forced to ask for charity as wildfires incinerate their only means of livelihood. By driving more money to Curtis than other farmers bottom line, Ugly Pickle Co. begins the long-term work of stabilizing our food economy. By drawing attention to what sustainable eating truly looks like, we magnify our collective impact as we help people begin to see their diets as tools of environmental activism. And we're just getting started. We have plans for farm support networks that systemically support farmers reduced waste, maximizing consumers impact with each jar of pickles they purchase. We're also rapidly innovating soon to roll out our line of condiments and fridge staples in totally untouched segments of food waste. So today we are looking to take on $200,000 in debt to support three key projects as we grow over the next year. Uh, one is to accept key regional retail placements we've been offered but need marketing and slotting funds for. Two, to complete onboarding with two of the largest national distributors, UNFI and CAHI. And three, to move into a larger production facility to support our growth. This year, Climate Solutions Org Project Drawdown named food waste the number one most impactful way to, to tackle climate change. Its impact sur surpassing that of electric cars, vegan diets, or solar panels. And like all those industries, this work is not fast, but it is critical. Out of both drive and necessity, Ugly Pickle Co. is dedicated to helping consumers eat their way towards a sustainable 
food future. And we'd love to have you along for the ride. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kayla. And I have to say, Ugly Pickle makes um, sustainable eating fun and delicious with, with the product. So it's a, it's a really it's awesome a really product. Awesome product. Um, moving um, on to moving questions. On to um, awesome presentation, Kayla. Um, and, uh, you know, I love the, uh, the kind of the brand language. I see a little bit, a bit of Oatly in there. Um, <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about just uh, your supply chain and and you mentioned you're you're scaling up production, but how are you doing it today and what capacity does this two hundred thousand dollars get you to? Yeah, absolutely. So we the company really started with some farmer friends of ours, and we still work incredibly closely with them. Um, we have a series of kind of smaller farms that are just dear friends that we want to source from and see grow as well as some larger um, multi-plot farms as well. And as we continue to grow over the next several years, we are really hoping to develop, continue developing farm relationships. Uh, there are other sources for quote unquote, ugly produce or seconds, but our goal is primarily to work directly with those farms to see them succeed as well. And that's also where a lot of our innovation comes from. We talk directly to the farmers and they're able to tell us that they have excess of this or that or when harvests are coming to fruition so having that communication with them is really important to us. Hi Kayla, great presentation um, and looks like it worked out for us to see some of your slides which was great um, and so um, uplifting to hear the origin story about working with some local farmer friends of yours. Um, I'm just curious how many current SKUs do you have now that you're in production and then how are you thinking about your branding as you're planning, you know, uh, product extensions beyond pickles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we currently have four pickle skews and we have four condiments that we're rolling out soon. Um, they're all kind of tied to this upcycle idea of an upcycled pantry where we're able to help people in their daily journey using different household items um, that they already know and love and making them upcycled. So. The goal is to be there for consumers in kind of every step of their day to help them make an environmentally sound choice. So we do have things like our, our carrot top chimichurri is incredibly uh, popular and also an easy kind of link to food waste as people see them tossing their carrot tops all the time. Um, stone fruit mustards that are coming out and ketchups as well. So a lot awesome. of fun. Thank you so much again, Kayla. That was an excellent presentation.